And once again, I welcome everyone to the Drive Express channel. Mid-cycle facelifts normally feature either obvious design changes or powertrain upgrades. Aston Martin is taking a different path with the revised DBX 707. External design is effectively unaltered, as are its V8 powertrain and suspension hardware. Instead, the big change is an almost all-new cabin. The reason for this goes right to the top of the company. Aston Executive Chairman Lawrence Stroll says that the cabin architecture and outdated user interface of the DBX were the most common cause of complaint among owners, most of who loved pretty much everything else about the luxury SUV, which is why he ordered the DBX be given both a redesigned interior and also Aston Martin's new infotainment system, developed in-house and already seen in the DB12. Aston has also confirmed that both the regular DBX with a 542 horsepower twin turbo 4 litre V8 and the hybridized six cylinder version that was offered in some parts of the world, but not the US, have been dropped from the lineup. That means the high performance DBX 707 remains the only available version for the 2025 model year, while the outgoing DBX's cabin was never short on character, it did lack ergonomic coherence. In the pre-facelift DBX 707, it featured the strange combination of haptic climate controls, non-haptic drive mode switches squeezed onto the center console, and gear selection through a row of buttons at the top of the dashboard. It also featured one of the last infotainment systems in the luxury sector, not to offer touch-sensitive control, this running a reskinned version of Mercedes's previous generation UI system that needed to be navigated through a turn and click rotary controller. Pretty much every part of the interior has changed with the new car, with restyled door cards, a revised dashboard, and a much more intuitive control layout. The DBX 707 now has a center console very similar to the one in the DB12 and the forthcoming Vantage. This housing a compact gear shifter with physical controls for drive modes and HVC functions. Above this, console sits a high-resolution 10.2-inch touchscreen running the company's own Linux-based Aston UX system. The steering wheel has been redesigned with a smaller and more elegant central cap. Connectivity is also improved with support for wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, plus two USB-C ports between the driver and front seat passenger. An 800-watt 14-speaker audio system is now standard, and there's an optional 1600-watt 23-speaker Bowers and Wilkins setup too. Exterior changes are minimal. The 25DBX707 offers five new paint finishes and also features different door mirrors to accommodate cameras for a 3D parking display system. The external door handles are also now described as self-presenting, motoring outwards when the car is unlocked. Mechanically, the Aston Martin DBX 707 is unaltered for 2025, with power still coming from a 697 horsepower twin turbo 4 litre V8 that feeds all four wheels through a nine-speed automatic transmission, both supplied by Mercedes's AMG subsidiary. Carbon ceramic brakes, a torque-splitting rear differential, and a 48-volt anti-roll system remain standard. While the hardware remains unchanged, Aston promises that the air springs and adaptive dampers have been treated to new calibration to increase transient body control. We will have to wait for prices, with Aston saying revised DBX 707 deliveries will start in the second quarter of this year. In other words, soon.